Welcome. I hope everybody's having a great day on this planet Earth. It's just so great to be here. So every country needs a government to rule that country to an extent. But I believe that the governments are getting bigger and bigger in countries and becoming a lot more intrusive in our personal lives. Hell, they're even in the bedroom. And we all know that the governments want more control. And if the people give it to them, they all just want more. And we also know that most female candidates in the government want a lot more control. That's just their nature. But when do we people say enough is enough? Because now they're controlling our children. The government are the parents, not us. And schools and education has become more of a doctrine than teaching. At least that's what I can see. They seem to be educating children to be well-behaved, grown-up drones. Not free-thinking individuals, like humans are supposed to be. So really, the parents don't have any choice of what the children get educated in anymore. Hell, if they take the children out of school for no real good reason, the parents can be fined. And they are fined. Isn't that a bit intrusive? The government can take children away from people for no real reason. They have the power. Of course, in some circumstances, that is the best thing. But in a lot of cases, I've seen it happen where it's just destroyed the family. Gee, I remember when I was a young man. A very young man. God, those were the days. And I used to forge a note from my mother and play what they call truant. And you always had a friend who did the same thing. And you used to spend the whole day doing different things away from school. And we probably learned a lot more about life in that day than we would have done if we'd been at school. And I'm so very glad that I don't have any children that are at school now because I see what they're teaching and I don't agree with it. And there was a man who disagreed with what his son was being taught and he went to the school and he was really angry. And so what happened? Nothing. There was nothing he could do. Is that being a parent or is the government the parent? We have very young children and females and men who are coming out of school and university with absolutely useless degrees that don't mean jack and they're in debt up to their eyeballs already and it's no surprise and I think a lot of us know that the education system in most countries is run by females mostly they are flooded in the educational system and in a lot of cases, these females are teaching them what they think they should know, not what's good for them, because that's what women do, isn't it? I believe the whole education system needs to be revamped, re-looked at. In a lot of countries, I would say, in the UK and the US especially, I mean the universities in the US are completely, mostly useless. So here's a radical idea. What about all the young males at school and the boys all being taught by male teachers and all the females being taught by female teachers? I know that's a radical idea and would never be allowed. But would it be better for the males and the females? And I personally think it would because I think a female can communicate with another female far better than a male. Male teachers would be able to communicate with the boy students much better. Here's something that's real, but it would seem like a joke nowadays. But at my school, boys used to be doing either woodwork or metalwork, they called it, or metal shop. And girls used to do cooking classes and crafts. <laughs> Seems so archaic now. 
I don't know about you, but in this country I'm feeling like more increasingly I feel like I'm in a fishbowl and swimming around in a circle. And the only escape for me is to flip out of the bowl and land on the ground outside. And I will suffocate, but maybe I'd be free for that short time. Take it easy. Yippee! Uh.